Welcome back. We now give you the details of the top stories. I'm Randall Charmias. On the occasion of the National Day of Bhutan on 17 December 2012, President Uten Sein sent warm greetings to King of Bhutan, Jigme Kesar Namjal Wangchok, and Prime Minister Lan Chen Jigme Tinley on the country's National Day on 17 December. During his inspection tour in Mon State, President Uten Sein and members visited historic Titan Lin City in Molamyang on 16 December. The President paid homage to the Buddha image kept at Witaka Wutoji Pear Hall and offered flowers, light, water, and incense. The President donated cash for the SETI and in return the Board of Trustees presented him the portrait of the SETI. The President, the Vice President, and the Union Ministers signed in the Distinguished Visitors Book and later paid homage to the historic city. The President also viewed the scenic beauty of Molamyang from the Pagoda and instructed renovation tasks for the city development. In related news, on 15 December, President Uten Sein held a meeting with community elders, political parties, and officials at Anawa Hall in Molamyang. It was also attended by Vice President Union Tun, the Union Ministers, the Chief Ministers of Kain and Mon States, community elders, as well as officials of Union Solidarity and Development Party, All Mon Region Democracy Party, Mon Democracy Party, National Unity Party, and National League for Democracy. President Uten Sein delivered an address saying that national racist armed insurrections started over the last six decades and created differences and uh, diversities. Both sides were Myanmar citizens, so that the loss of citizens is due to armed conflicts. The national development mainly depends on human resource development. The nation's current poverty rate is 26%, and there is a need to reduce it to 16% in 2015 according to the UN Millennium Development Goal. Rural development and poverty alleviation tasks have been implemented according to the Foreign Direct Investment Law. Plans are underway to focus on value-added products, IT and telecommunication sectors, as well as establishment of industrial zones, SMEs, and heavy industries in order to create job opportunities for better socioeconomic lives of local people. Due to economic sanctions, Myanmar could not enjoy the GSP system. However, Myanmar has been observing foreign policy with friendly relations, whether east or west. Therefore, U.S. Uh, President Barack Obama made historic goodwill visit to Myanmar and relaxed several restrictions to Myanmar. And also EU countries relaxed their restrictions to Myanmar. With strong commitment, the government is implementing democracy reforms, which is irreversible. The President asked the suggestions of local community for the development of Mon State. Plans are underway to open Peya Tonzu Tantu Zaya border gate and construct 50 megawatt two gas turbines for electric supply. It was followed by a round of discussions by those present. The Union Ministers at the President's office, Uti Naintain and Uso Tain, clarified foreign investment, marketing, housing projects, job opportunities, and international cooperation for the development of Mon State. The President delivered a closing speech and said that through cooperation and coordination, the country can be prepared for the ASEAN free trade in 2015. He urged officials and uh, concerned and the Federation of Chambers of Commerce and Industries to make research for foreign markets and manufacturing of high quality products. In other news, the world nations are facing threats of natural disasters as consequences of climate change. But Myanmar has fine weather, geographic condition, and land resources to grow crops. 70% of the population is living in rural areas, with more than 32 million people engaged in agricultural farming. Out of total land area, only 18% are arable land. For rural development and poverty alleviation, the country is expanding agricultural activities. On 15 December, Union Minister for Agriculture and Irrigation Umi Lang and officials visited Bagor region where they inspected industrial crops 
Jetro Pakarko's plantation grown near Wagado Dam. He discussed systematic record of per acre yield and income. In Yang Pinta of Pew Township, they inspected progress of land reclamation and maize cultivation at 2,000 acre mechanized farm. He urged the state service personnel to cooperate and render assistance for the success of model farm to bring agricultural development in respective regions and states while creating more job opportunities and farmers' income. At Pew Creek Multipurpose Dam Project, the Union Minister inspected the completion of the dam, progress of building diversion channels, hydropower plant, and diversion weir. One news are coming up. Please stay tuned.